you've done some amazing work um, over the years during Anti-Racism Week. Can you tell us about, um, a bit more about that work, but also about other initiatives which are building just and inclusive societies for all? Okay, over the years, um, during my high school years, I partaked in a lot of anti-racism and social justice work through various NGOs in South Africa because I believe that um, we have to actively be anti-racist every single day if we are truly to dismantle the system because this is a big machine of exploitation and op and oppression which we are dealing with and it's not going to take place and be abolished overnight and so we ought to engage in the work every single day and um, I actually would urge everyone that you don't only necessarily have to be part of organizations and initiatives however those are very important and I believe that they are initiatives quite a lot in, of initiatives in South Africa in um, different communities by young people and um, what we need to um, prioritize mostly is the internal work, the internal work of really um, pushing ourselves into uncomfortable um, positions in questioning internalized racism, which we've internalized, whether be it about how we as black people view ourselves and um, us seeing ourselves as inferior, that has to change. And we have to see ourselves as equal and people who are valid and deserving and should have an equal an equal voice in partaking in the global activities of the world and um, also white people ought to have those uncomfortable internal discussions with themselves and criticizing the racism which they've internalized and how they internalize um, their privilege and how they understand their privilege and so I believe that more than anything before we try to push ourselves into doing the external community work we have to focus on doing the internal work and um, really pushing ourselves internally into really criticizing ourselves uncomfortably because um, we're not going to be able to partake actively externally in anti-racism work if we're not okay internally. And so we have to ensure that we are doing that internal work every single day first before we partake in external work. And so that's one thing that I do want to actually um, urge everyone to do, um, both black individuals and um, white individuals to um, do the internal work every single day and take on what I would call a um, radical mental revolution whereby you um, emancipate yourself from the shackles of mental slavery which have taught us internalized racism. As black people we've been conditioned to view ourselves and act and behave in an inferior way towards other towards other other people other people who are not black and white people have also been conditioned to um to view themselves as superior and so i believe that um to truly dismantle such ideals in society that requires um that requires us to take on a very radical mental mental revolution where we emancipate ourselves from mental slavery and this um this toxic colonial conditioning which we've undergone over decades and we've been forced into undergoing and so i believe that um it really begins with internal work right thank you so much yeah everything starts with us you know systems are made of people and people therefore need to drive that change 